ranking member of the full committee, Mr. Nadler, was here earlier. His testimony, he stated that uh, Governor Abbott has sent, uh, from Texas, has sent 80,000 of these illegal immigrants to New York on buses. Uh, I personally think that's a beautiful thing. I think it should be 180,000. Matter of fact, I'm willing to help pay for some of the buses to send more and more to these welcoming cities, these sanctuary cities. Mayor Adams now says he's overwhelmed. He's overwhelmed. Other cities, Chicago, were overwhelmed. Heck, we send not even 100 or so to Martha's Vineyard. We got to call the police. We got a crisis. Texas, the, it, the counties in Texas, those municipalities along the southern border have been overwhelmed for the past three years, and you heard nothing from the Democrats. Nothing. It's all okay. It's not my problem. I'm up here in the cushy East Coast. So they start busting them up there. It's a beautiful thing. And now the American people are paying attention. They're paying attention to the Biden border crisis. The Democrats didn't care. They didn't care about the, the border crisis for the last three years of this administration. And now they care. Really, folks? Really? Do you think the Democrats truly care? I find the timing of it interesting. We are 10 months away from a general election. Joe's approval rating is in the toilet. It's 33%. You can get online and look at all these residents of all these large cities, New York, Chicago. They're a little grumpy. They're a little grumpy. They're saying, Mayor, what the hell's happening to our city here? And they're paying attention. They're expressing their outrage. And now the Democrats want to secure the southern border. My advice, this is real plain and simple. My advice to the Democrats, call Joe. Call Joe. Use the executive orders today to secure our southern border. Because if you don't, Joel, the American people will act, and Donald Trump will fix it again. Joe Biden does not need Congress. He doesn't need Congress to do anything to address this crisis. Trump didn't have the support from Congress to address the border. He did it through 21 executive orders and 25 presidential memoranda. And his policies kept the American people safe. Now, the dishonest media out there, they're everywhere. The greatest threat to our country, the dishonest media. They won't hold the Biden administration accountable. They will deflect. They'll say it's Congress. It's Congress that hasn't done anything to secure the southern border. And Congress as a whole has done nothing to address the southern border. Joe Biden did it all by himself through executive order. He took all of Trump's policies and just reverse them all when it was the safest country in decades. We had more border security under Donald Trump than we had in decades. So no, folks, let's be honest with each other. Nothing's going to get done. The Democrats don't want to have anything to do with HR2. They've already said it. Joe doesn't want to fix the crisis at our southern border because it's all by design. Joe puts America last. He puts the American people last. I have about another minute and a half, and uh, Mr. Camarado, you, you, are you familiar with the public charge rule, my friend? Yes. Explain it. Explain that for the sixth grader. Or the yeah. Well, very briefly, um, it's the idea that we try to evaluate new legal immigrants so that um, they're not going to end up on public benefits. And if it looks like you are, it's possible in that process they'll, they'll deny you a green card, which is permanent residency. Yeah. And Trump is just looking out for America like he always has. He defined public charge as an immigrant who receives one or more designated public benefits for more than 12 months within a 36-month period. Rightfully included SNAP benefits, housing vouchers, Medicaid as benefits that would disqualify an immigrant from receiving a green card. To me, it's a no-brainer. If you need two of these, you should be considered a public charge. Is it true in September 2022 that the Biden administration published a new public charge inadmissibly regulations that reversed Trump's public charge regulations? Yes, they abandoned the expansive idea and just made it a couple of programs. Do too. you think it incentivizes more people to come to the United States? Hey, I'm from Guatemala. I'm going to come. I'm going to get my food, housing, health care, everything. I'm going to come, and I'm going to come now. I've been invited by this president. It, it, it could. We estimate that 52% of legal immigrant households access one or more welfare programs. So, so those rates and are And we're high. $34 trillion in debt. 
I yield back. Uh, Ms. Ms. Jackson Lee. Thank you very much. The last time